plenty of excitement in the Marseille air. We're at the Stade Vélodrome this evening. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. It's Marseille, they face Lecce. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope to see some great football today. the impressive Paul Lopez between the posts. Valentin Rongier plays alongside jean dan Verretou in central midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Alexis Sanchez. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. Better two. Tavares. Now Vertu. Sloppy in possession from Marseille. Might really be able to trouble them here. Can he finish this? Well, he couldn't quite keep it on target. Just wide. Dimitri Payet, such an eye-catching footballer. And Stewart, I wonder what part he might play in the proceedings. Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Now, options are plenty. Gendouzi, on to Payet. Cisse. A good and fair challenge. By getting the ball forward. Oh, a vital interception. And now passing it through. Oh, that's a goal at the wrong end. Well, it's every defender's nightmare. An own goal here. Well, here it is again, and he's a bit unfortunate, you have to say. But it will count as an own goal against him, I'm afraid. Well, the ball is moving once more. 
How important will that opening goal prove to be? Di Francesco. Trying to really get at the opposition here. And options in the centre. Tremendous challenge. Bailly. Pau Lopez. Valentin Rogier. Vertu. Nuno Tavares. Payet. Now it's Alexis Sanchez. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Christian Bistrovic. Oh, a nice looking pass. And a goal. The equaliser. Superb entertainment. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Matteo Guendouzi. And he was in the right place to intercept. Oh, managing to beat him. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Couldn't grab hold of it. Finally gathered by the keeper. Well, that's a really good recovery. He had to be smart there. Well, as the stats confirm, Marseille have controlled the ball, but their attacking players lack tempo, invention and goal. Something they need to rectify quickly if they're going to win this one. Indeed, and looking to make good use of their possession this time. Well, an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. And played short. Really good challenge. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. And there it is, the half-time whistle. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest, as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on and win it. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Can they take the lead here? Payet. Valentin Rogier. Renduzzi. In the right place to cut out the pass. Now, who can he play it to? Will he finish? And the opportunity goes a begging. He decided to hit that with power rather than going for placement.
Valentin Rogier. Excellent vision. Will it happen for them? Sanchez. They're following the deflection. A corner kick coming up here. Time for a change then. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. Short corner it is. And a fine tackle. Di Francesco. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Now he must favour the cross. A cross there that was decidedly ordinary. To the last 20 minutes danger here as he runs at them but quick thinking defensively Alexis Sanchez now with Veretout a real opening now a mischievous effort oh and that is an audacious chip well he might smile the goalkeeper has no interest in smiling. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And just look at the finish. That's a brilliant piece of skill and vision to chip the goalkeeper from there. What a great goal. minutes left for play well a dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider Cisse Askielsen interception to snuff out the danger Payet. And the second half drawing to a close as Marseille try to get the job done here. Well, they've certainly controlled the tempo of the game and just about deserve their lead, but they've got to keep their concentration right to the end here. Gigo. Dimitri Payet with it. Can he play it in? Still could put it away. Simple save, really. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. And it's still on for him. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. And there goes the final whistle. A home defeat to begin the group stage. And they're going to have to make up for this in future games. Well, it's not the start they wanted. It puts them under a bit of pressure going into the next game. They need to bounce back now. Already no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.